Nathan Redmond breaks. And looking for Ings, who's worked it beautifully, but then hit it almost too sweetly. His movement's brilliant. He recognises where the space is, well found by Redmond, but just gets on the shoulder of Vertonghen, who doesn't see him at all. It's a terrific first touch to set him up nicely for the shot. Sessegnon, made off by Lucas Moura, forward by Winks, nicely played for Sessegnon. Can he keep going? Stevens with the tackle, and it comes out and it's deflected in. And Dombele drove it goalwards. And Spurs, against the run of play, it has to be said, have the first goal of the evening. And Dombele is very fortunate with the deflection, but it's all about Sessegnon's run. I'm not, sure it, I'm not sure it was going in. They've got the, uh, the Champions League on the horizon, Tottenham against RB Leipzig, who will also press high. It's a former club of uh, Aston Hootel. Oh, Ings, hesitation from Lloris, and what a chance for Danny Ings. Well, it's a great ball to him from Ward Prowse. He's onside, At times he's run to perfection, but Lloris's starting position is really poor. He's a real confidence player, Nathan Redmond. He seems to be back at a level that he'd like to be at. The foul. Here is Nathan Redmond. Maybe turned the wrong way, but it's pushed out. It must be an equaliser. Shane Long. Redmond shot, parried by Lloris. And it's a Shane Long goal for Southampton. And in truth, it's no more than they deserved in this uh, fast and furious FA Cup replay as well just to swivel and get the shot away and Larissa's done that a couple of times pushed the ball back into the danger area Shane Long and Danny Ings both lurking and it falls nicely for Shane Long plenty of height on it oh and it's turned over from Vestergaard who has plenty of height of his own Larissa with some difficulty well even he's on the stretch means he can't quite get the power he would have liked. It's on this corner. Gun. Good distance to it. Aurier gets the drop on Armstrong. Backed up by Jensen Fernandez. But it's a bit too deep. The trouble for Tottenham at the back and Redmond leads the charge out. Wonderfully well for Ings. Still Danny Ings, brilliant goal. Ings with a superb finish, he scores against Spurs again. But Nathan Redmond with the run from deep, and he's still got the energy to be first to join in the celebrations. Excellent skill, then he's got the awareness. Ings' movement again, just works the space, he gets himself 1v1 against Tanganga. And then it's about his finish. Can he find the corner? Cuts back on his favoured right side and curls it past Lloris into the corner. What a big goal. What a beautiful goal. Still uh, earnestly trying to drive Spurs forward. He made that uh, burst that led to uh, Zinchenko getting sent off in the Manchester City game for fouling in his alley. And it's Lucas Moura picking his way through. 2-2. A soft centre for Southampton. And a sharp finish for Spurs from Lucas Moura. Nice good work from Lucas Moura. He starts it, plays the ball forward. Is he onside, Deli Alley? The answer is yes. He gets it back, cuts inside, which just creates the opening to get the shot away. Beats Vestergaard too easily, but it's a clinical finish from the edge of the box, right into the corner. Bertrand, 
Redmond off and running again. The, the flick collected by Kelly Alley had a flick of his own. And here goes uh, Jetson Fernandez. Alley, it's going to reach Son. He's brought down by Angus Gunn. A sting in the tail here. Does he get a touch on Son? Difficult to tell. If he does, it's very minimal. So the man brought down for the penalty steps up to take the penalty, and he could send Spurs into the fifth round here. And he certainly put them 3 2 in front with three minutes to go. Now, the ball went a long way to reach Son for the foul in the first place. Goalkeeper went a long way to reach the penalty, but couldn't keep it out. 